All right, so over the last couple of months, we've talked about a stock called DeFi Technologies. We've done a couple of videos on this in the past, and the symbol for it is D-E-F-T-F. You can see we did a video for this back about three months ago, then we covered it again about a month ago, and today I wanna to go over some major developments that they recently announced because there are game changers for the entire crypto industry, and we've seen a lot of positive news come out since the US election with regards to crypto. And if we're looking at DeFi Technologies, it's currently trading right around $2 and eight cents per share. But the interesting thing about it is that it's trading right around a 600 to $650 million market cap. And based on their recent numbers, this seems extremely undervalued in my opinion. And I do personally own this stock. So with DeFi Technologies, a few major developments recently is that they did just announce their Q3 2024 financial results. And in this report, we saw that there was a lot of positive developments for the company, a lot of increases, a lot of good financial statistics. We've seen that in this report, I talked about revenue. One thing about revenue that says total revenue for DeFi Technologies was approximately $17.8 million for the quarter. And this is up dramatically from the same period last year. And if we scroll down, it says, look, um, for the same period last year, there was only $4.4 million in revenue versus what we saw 17.8 million this year. So year over year growth is over 300%. In addition to this, we also can see in terms of their assets. It says, look, substantial growth in assets under management. We saw that their AUM grew by 51.6% uh, since December 31st, 2023 to approximately $570.8 million as of September 30th. And they even came up with a more updated report after the election. And now that number is at $633 million since we've seen Bitcoin and uh, a lot of altcoins rally in price. So in a matter of a year, they've seen massive growth of their assets under management. So while all of these numbers are good, like this is alone enough for me to want to invest and why I have invested because you could see that they have $633 million in assets under management and they also are at less than that in terms of market cap. So if you're looking at their assets versus their market cap, that ratio is the best you could ever possibly hope to see for a stock. But in addition to this, they came out with a few major developments in terms of new plans and new strategies. The first is that DeFi Technologies launched their CoreFi strategy. This says a micro strategy inspired approach for amplifying Bitcoin returns with Core. You guys know that I'm extremely bullish on Core. I've talked about it in dozens and dozens of videos on YouTube. I've posted about it probably hundreds of times on X. And Core is one of the only ways where you can stake your Bitcoin and earn rewards. And DeFi Technologies is using this exact strategy. They said, look, their DeFi Technologies uh, launches CoreFi strategy. It's modeled after successful companies like MicroStrategy. CoreFi strategy offers a leveraged, regulated approach to Bitcoin yield and core. Core blockchain's native asset providing investors high beta exposure to Bitcoin and BTC Fi. So with this, this is something that is extremely exciting because as you can see, they talk about Core is the most Bitcoin aligned blockchain with over 8,200 staked Bitcoin. Um, and you can see they have a TVL of over $700 million. Core is a project that allows people to you know, generate that yield on Bitcoin. It says, look, Core's non-custodial Bitcoin staking product uh, to return investors 5.65% yield on Bitcoin holdings. And you can see that this is something that is really exciting because it's going to allow them to generate more revenue for the company, considering their assets under management have continued to increase. That's their first strategy. The second strategy is with Solana. So recently they announced the launch of SolFi tech, uh, Technologies to expand shareholder exposure to the Solana ecosystem. And it says, look, DeFi Technologies launches SolFi Technologies, a spin-out company focusing on providing investors with direct exposure to the Solana blockchain ecosystem through... Um, through Solana and through its entire uh, blockchain. So that's something that is extremely exciting because it says they're going to provide it through proprietary trading, validator node operations, and ecosystem investments. So this is like a whole regulated approach for investors who are in the stock market to get exposure 
to Solana and its ecosystem. This gives institutions access. This gives retail investors access. This is something that is very, very exciting because Solana has seen tremendous growth. Solana is over $200 per coin right now. And a lot of people have been flocking to it, especially with the meme coin craze we've been seeing on Solana. So this is something that gives investors more exposure and the ability to have exposure to Solana with their new uh, spin out company called SolFi Technologies. And last thing I do want to go over is going to be with Valor because recently for Valor, they came out with some major developments. And first thing I want to go over with this is that Valor offers right now uh, 28 different ETPs. And if we search ETPs right here, you can see it says, look, Valor is expanding its product lineup, currently offering 28 ETPs. And they have a goal of reaching 40 by the end of the year with plans of growing to 100 different ETPs by the end of 2025. Valor is a subsidiary of DeFi Technologies, and they've reached assets under management of over $600 million, over 70% year over year. And this is something that's really exciting because with uh, Valor, it allows institutions and retail investors and people who strictly invest in the stock market to have exposure to different crypto investment products. This is basically what ETPs are, exchange traded products. So basically, it's giving all of these investors and institutions the ability to invest in Solana and in different altcoins without actually having to own the crypto or make a Coinbase account or any of that. They could just do it directly from the stock market. That's something that's really exciting. And if we go ahead and look at Valor's website, we can see all of their different products. We just go ahead and click on explore products and then you'll see they have all of these different products where people can get direct exposure to crypto assets from the stock market. You could see from like uh, internet computer to Avalanche to Binance to Cardano, Chainlink, Core, the list goes on and on. So they're expanding these lists of products from currently 28 to 40 by the end of the year and then they plan on expanding this even further to over 100 by the end of 2025. So this is something that is so important for the crypto space because as we're seeing a lot of people in the US government talk positive about crypto, this is going to entice and encourage institutions to invest more into crypto investment products. Now with Valor, they are one of the only ways where institutions can get exposure to the crypto market without actually having to buy crypto themselves. They can buy one of Valor's ETPs and they get exposure to that crypto. So this is something that is a massive opportunity, especially at its current market cap, which is only around 620 to you know million dollars. So if you're looking at their assets under management, you're looking at the different divisions of their business, you're looking at, you know, for example, Valor, their new company called SolFi, you're seeing all these different things it makes a very compelling argument, in my opinion, to at least look at this stock. Because like I said, I own it personally in my Charles Schwab account. They are you know, available on a lot of different places, but personally, I own it in Charles Schwab. And with the overall market doing extremely well, I really think you should take a look at DeFi technologies because Bitcoin, uh, spot Bitcoin ETFs and Ethereum ETFs, we're seeing a lot of money come into those products. And the only way where institutions can get, can get exposure to smaller cryptos is going to be with Valor, going to be with DeFi technologies. And it's just a good play, in my opinion, with the overall market and what we're seeing right now.